South Hope. My home away from home. Guys, welcome back to Hydroneer. This is Hydroneer 2.1. And today, I'm going to be working on my field. And the reason why I'm going to be working on my field is because, well, this is the farming update. So, away with the mining, away from all the stuff we've done before. The day we get our hands dirty and we start digging and flattening a field out because I really need to. So, I need money. On the plus side, with this whole new save structure they put in last go, all the mods are working, which is amazing. I just, it, It's brilliant. So now, I need my cash. We need our money because, well, your choice. Also, I need furniture for my house because it's looking a little bit bare in here. If you guys didn't see my other video or my live stream when we put this all together, it's pretty damn cool. Yeah, yes, we have lighting. But not just lighting in this sense, but we have ourselves... A miniature disco hidden behind the walls we have this do a little dance get down tonight get down tonight it does change into different colors I've put a couple of random sets in there so it actually works a little bit better but it's all good I've been working this piece of land for quite some time you know we built our mine underground we've 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 done our sorters and stuff underground but today I need to go and get myself a steamroll now what I should be doing actually is I should just add yeah say that give me a sec let me just pop this back my first NBC how you doing buddy did you just talk to me Oh, wow. Oh, cool. This wasn't here before. Look, new park benches. So these have got interaction points. <gasps> Max, you genius. You've done stuff good. You won't find a better price than these. All right, okay. Well, I'm only here for this. The Hydro Roller. It's all good. Is there a place I can pop my money down? Um. Eh. 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 Damn it. Oh. Okay, I'm going to have to buy the quad bike as well then. What a shame. Oh yeah, we got ourselves a quad bike. That's pretty sweet. I like it. I like it a lot. Next, I'm going to go and claim my steamroller. I've, I've already paid for it, so it's fine. So I'm going to run through a couple of things with you. Basically, for now, and NPCs are a thing now. Oh yes. See? NPCs, they talk to you. And then you've got a few other new bits and pieces that are all kicking around in the village. There's also a couple of new bits and pieces we've got to do for machines. But today's focus is mainly to, I need this, it is mine. Now I've got to try and work out how to work it. So this will be fun. Ah, here we go. I don't know what I did, but now it's working, so it's fine. This is pretty sweet. It's like lawnmower simulator, just for dirt. Trundle, 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 trundle. So it's best to go a little bit slower when it comes up to like bigger pieces of land that need to be flattened by the looks of it. So that's nice. Gotta remember this isn't out of ore. I've got like, I have to do everything myself. Well, wow, this is pretty cool. Well, what I'm gonna do then is I'm gonna flatten out this whole field and then uh, I'll come back to you. This is gonna take a little bit of time. So um, see you in a minute. this is pretty cool like all you have to do take your time and you can even out your land this is all right actually i can deal with this it sort of just eats dirt i do like it melting melting ha <laughs> ha well, there we go. So I came up with a little bit of a problem whilst doing this whole flattening of the world thing. And my issue comes from the rest of my build. So the only way to really explain this is to actually show you what I'm having a trouble with. Basically, it's this. So my build, up there above that floor, there's a big cavity where the wires and all the other bits and pieces go. So above my roof is a cavity of air. And this air is where all my wires are. Now, that is the dirt layer between where I am and where this is. So there's not a lot of um, space. Even this is my sorting area above me, and I had to fence it off so it didn't fall through. So I had to do a little bit of morphing. I technically should have gone down one more space just so I could have had this a bit better. But <clears throat> with all this being done, I have to be really, really careful with now rolling out the land. The problem that I'm having is that just below this is a really big open space. 
So I'm having to be really, really careful. I literally have about this much space between here and here. And that is um, everything. So what I'm having to do is I'm having to be really, really fast with this thing. And the reason why is because I don't really want to sit around just in case it makes a problem. Or I just have to lift the roller in case of emergencies. Which is a pretty cool little feature. I like that one. So most appreciated. So the only thing I can really do is just go a little bit faster. Just roll off as much as I can and just hope and hope and hope that nothing ever really goes wrong. So we'll just have to see how things go. There is only just this raised area left. We're almost done. So on the plus side, I didn't have to use a rake or a pickaxe really to like level the whole field. And that is quite amazing. The reason why I haven't done this bit here is because, well, of this hole here. So because of my stupidity, I put a hole in here a little while ago. And if I roll the roller over it and it gets stuck in there, it basically just caves through the hole. And that will upset me a little bit which is a bit of a shame. So, why have I done this? Why am I basically ploughing my whole field so it's dead flat with nothing left on top of it? Well, that's pretty simple. This is now Hydrodeer 2.1. This is the farming update, which means we needed farmland. The reason why I left, I didn't want to keep it all like squirmy is because I've got a couple of plans. I've got a couple of things I need, I want to try. And I want to basically give it a good sort of go. Also, until you've actually driven one of these, you don't realise how big this is. So yeah, I got my quad bike. I got my uh, my yeah my my steamroller thingy. Yep, yep, it's all good, and that came out really really well. <laughs> Actually, it's really good. So the last part I have to show you is the actual farm area itself. This is Grange Field. Yes, and if you're if you're familiar with old school uh, like old school TV shows, Grange Hill. Uh huh. So if you remember, this was a building site. This was basically what what what's going to happen. Where is it? What's it going to be? And what is this strange new coin? <gasps> dun dun dun! So the strange new coin is a new currency that you can only use in certain shops. So let's give you a bit of a tour of the brand new farm section, Grange Fields, that's now in Hydra that you guys can now get into. Okay, so let's go towards some of these shops. As you can see, there's a new coin upon that building. We've got to try and figure out what that is. Well, basically, that's known as the farming coin. And this shop only deals in farming coins. So you have to earn farming coins to buy anything from this shop. So new seeds, all of the new machinery. It's very expensive. And you can only use this one coin to get anything from these shelves. Which is, it's going to be a bit of a grind. Trust me, I've already started. And you'll see that in the next video or even in a live stream later on. I'll get into that later on. We're going to head over to the new shop, which is for greenhouses. So you can build a greenhouse. Yay. And look at the price. Not actually, not too bad on the old pricing. The downside is that it's all this new brand new farming coin. So you have to earn more farming coin to build your greenhouse. Basically, the idea is to just sort of keep you going. This is the how you're going to earn your coins, by the way. You're going to take missions from NPCs around the world. This guy wants a soup made of tomato weighing up to two pound per so it bet you have to work this out get a set of scales and measure weigh out your tomatoes and then you make the soup for the person and the person then gives you coins which you can spend here now at the start when you're making bog standard tomato soup it's not a lot of money so you're gonna have to do this quite a few times so setting up a farm is all good and this is where you can buy all your stuff and equipment and basic seeds to start with this uses the hydro coin which means some of what you can buy can actually be purchased with the hydro coin so the basic seeds a trowel a scythe a seed yeah a seed mill because you it, when you've got over it when you've got too many like fruit and veg you can put them through the seed mill and actually produce more seeds so you can grow more crops but all of this can be produced using the hydro coin so you can start off with bare necessity of co like with money basically then you've got your cooking pot and your stove a knife and bowls each customer is going to need a bowl but then the bowls are recyclable so you only need like six bowls at a time you can go around the whole map and you can actually pick up more contracts and then they do they drop the bowl you pick the bowl back up take it back and make another bowl of soup and it's all good i am going to warn you now it takes a long time to do this without like if you're not using creative mode and you're just going to start off doing tomato soup and carrots and carrot soup so you can make two soups and that's basically it 
The downside to this is it's gonna take time. Trust me, I've spent a couple of hours already trying to make soup and it, I've made about 140 coins. And I'm so far off of even getting better stuff, it's not even funny. I hope you've enjoyed this video. This has been like how I've like, this video has basically covered like the new steamroller, which has made my land lovely and flat, which is good. I can now put a greenhouse on here. I can now start growing crops. And in my future videos and bits and pieces, you're gonna see this evolve because this whole area that I'm building on will constantly be changing along with all the updates and everything else. So we're gonna be going through this as well. And um, yeah, it's been fun. I'm gonna be honest, I'm looking forward to this new chapter of Hydroneer. The problem with this new chapter of Hydroneer is that it comes a little bit away from the mining side, but it gives you something else to do. And at the end of the day, having something else to do in a game that I thoroughly enjoy is always good in my book. Thank you very much for coming by. This has been Hybrid Steel. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification button below for all other updates. I'll be back here with a brand new video, live stream, or whatever else I do on this channel. Until then, thank you very much for being here, and I'll see you all later. I want to say peace out, have fun, enjoy everything you guys do. Bye-bye for now.